The Seattle Seahawks travel to Chicago this week to face the Bears in a big game for both teams. Chicago now holds a one-game lead in the NFC North after their win over Minnesota last week, coupled with the Green Bay Packers' loss to the New York Giants. Seattle lost a tough one last week on the road in Miami. They're now 6-5, and five, right in the thick of things in terms of the NFC wildcard picture, but it's going to be very competitive. They're tied with Minnesota, Tampa Bay. They're a game ahead of the New Orleans Saints, the Washington Redskins. So Seattle needed that game last week. They need this game this week. Can they get it? They're only 1-5 on the road this season. The Seahawks are a perfect 5-0 at home, but only 1-5 on the road. And the Bears, they've been one of the best teams in the NFC all season long, yet Chicago was only installed as a 3.5-point favorite here on BetDAC. The total has not yet been released. That line struck me as a little low, you know? It'd be one thing if, if Seattle was not just such a different team on the road than they are at home. But I, I saw this line, and really, Chicago over the last couple of years, when Jay Cutler's been playing, they've been one of the elite teams. I'm not a big fan of Jay Cutler. I've made no secret of that. But, I mean, the record speaks to itself. 15-5 and five when Cutler's starting at quarterback. Played well, played reasonably well last week in that win over uh, Minnesota. And he, he's starting again this week. So, 100% healthy Jay Cutler, yet the Chicago Bears are only 3.5-point favorites over the Seattle Seahawks, who are starting a rookie quarterback against this defense that leads the NFL in, in forced turnovers. The Bears have forced 33 turnovers this season. And, you know, Seattle, they like to run the ball with Marshawn Lynch. That's pretty much their bread and butter on offense. But the Bears are so good against the run. And last season when they faced Seattle, Chicago held Marshawn Lynch to 42 yards on 20 carries. So you put all those things together and you say, what gives here? Why Chicago only three and a half point favorite in this game? And that's why when I first saw this line, I thought, wow, this might really be a good Chicago play here. But, you know, I've thought about it, and now I don't know what to think about this game because the injuries Chicago suffered on the offensive line last week. Two starters on that offensive line went down. They might be starting Andre Gerard, who they just signed off the street, hasn't played in a game since last season, hasn't played an NFL game since last season. They might have to start him this week. I mean, the Se Seattle is so tough on defense, so tough in the front seven. They're two star starting cornerbacks. It was announced a couple of games ago they're going to be suspended four games for use of performance-enhancing drugs. But they're going to be allowed to play while, this, while the appeals process is undergoing. And uh, it, we haven't gotten any word that appeal is going to be wrapped up this week. So both of those guys, Richard Sherman and Brandon Browner, are expected to play for the Seahawks this week. And you've seen the Bears' offense this season. You, you've seen how bad that line has looked at times. How are they going to hold up without two starters against this Seattle Seahawks defense? And we know what Jay Cutler sometimes turns into. I, I mean, I just mentioned uh, the Bears are 15-5 and five with Jay Cutler as starter. That's all fine and good. But we've seen that when Cutler is hit, when he is harassed in the pocket, he can throw multiple interceptions. He takes a lot of sacks. He has meltdown-type games had one earlier this season against the Green Bay Packers, and quite frankly appeared to be on the road to another one against the Houston Texans before he was injured and left that game. So uh, after an early lean towards Chicago, I I'm really second-guessing myself here. The thought of that Seattle defense up against this Bears offense when the Bears offense is missing two starters on the offensive line. Whew, uh, I, I don't know. And, you know, Matt Forte, Bears starting running back, He's questionable, very questionable for this game with an injury, but I don't think the loss of Matt Forte would hurt him as much. Michael Bush, who's the backup, is a very capable backup, probably could start in a lot of places in the NFL, but I don't know here. I, 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 I don't know. I, I lean towards Chicago early in the week, but, you know, the more and more I think about it, the more and more I lean towards Seattle, even though they're on the road where they're 1-5, starting a rookie quarterback against this Bears defense has forced 33 turnovers. I know it. I know it, but... I have so much faith in this Seattle defense in this spot, especially since the Bears, we talked about the injury problems. The three and a half points could come in handy. I'm going to say I lean towards Seattle on the points in this game.